Hi there, today I'm taking a look at this noise source that I bought off of eBay. It looks quite simple and uh, unfortunately it doesn't work. So I'm not sure whether I should return it or ask for a refund or whether I should just repair it or whatever. But I just want to show you what it looks like right now. So uh, let's connect it to the spectrum analyzer and see what the signal looks like. Okay, I have now connected it to my spectrum analyzer. This is supposed to be a flat line all the way from uh, DC basically to 500 megahertz. But as you can see, this is far from uh, what, what it looks like in real life. Uh, actually, it looks like there's some periodic sign overlaid onto the noise. But in any case, it's really not looking good. And here we have the same thing on the oscilloscope. And here we have the same thing on the oscilloscope. This is by no means random noise. In fact, if I do a single, single shot, it looks like this. And uh, basically it's just a sign on top of a sign. It's definitely not random noise. Now if we look at the noise source, it basically consists of a reverse bias diode which will generate a lot of noise. And then that noise will be, will be DC coupled uh, through some uh, amplifiers. In this case the amplifiers are, are three transistors. The first one is a, is a normal gain state and the last one looks like a Darlington pair. Um, so let's try and probe different places in the circuit and see where the thing go where the thing goes wrong. The first place I'm going to probe is on the um, on the on the noise generating diode itself. <clears throat> so we're looking now at the spectrum analyzer and we're looking at the output from the noise generating diode uh, directly. Already here we can see something is wrong. There is a, an enormous spike at the 96 megahertz. So already that's a problem here. We go to the next peak if we can detect it. We found one there at uh, 192. So this is the second harmonic. It basically oscillates at uh, 96 megahertz. And uh, yeah, it's basically useless from there onwards. Um, we can take a look at the oscilloscope as well and uh, see how that looks. We have something on the oscilloscope which definitely is not a uh, white noise so the thing is is not working and uh, I, I have to return it uh, for a refund or something like that the interesting thing is that uh, if we turn down the supply voltage we actually get some noise at the round 4 volt the VCC but at that voltage the amplifier is not amplifying anything we get nothing out of the first stage uh, Another, another couple of things that I found really weird is that the ground plane on the back of the noise generator is not connected to anything. I think that's a layout fault and they're just trying to uh, get rid of these noise generators on, on the internet. I guess I have to draw out the schematic to take a look at why the ground plane on the back is not connected to ground. Because actually if you take a look there are traces to the pins on the SMA connector from uh, the top side and uh, why aren't they connected to the ground plane? Okay, so I have um, traced out the circuit and uh, it's just quite conventional uh, as I predicted. Um, if we take a look up here, this is where the power supply is, uh, uh, comes in. We have, the, uh, have a protection diode here that prevents users from uh, connecting it uh, reverse with uh, plus here and minus here. Um, but normal operation, this is plus and this is minus. And um, <clears throat> then we have a small resistor here. This is 100 ohm and um, this is feeding the first stage. First of all, it's uh, providing a current that runs through this diode. And this is the diode that is uh, supposed to generate all the noise. We have something like uh, 1 milliamp uh, running through this uh, diode. Uh, then there's a DC block and there's a very basic uh, transistor here uh, for the initial gain. Uh, then there's a DC block again and there's a Darlington pair. On top here there are two pieces by uh, 407 ohm, I think. And, um, and then the Darlington pair and a little bit of a DC block down here. And then basically that's out to the SMA connector and the signal goes out here. There's a 100 ohm in parallel here, so I assume that if you look into here, there's another 100 ohm impedance, giving a, a, an output, a total output of 100 ohm divided, uh, 100 ohm parallel with 100 ohm, giving an output impedance here of uh, 50 ohm. Apart from that, there's a LED up here that will light up when you apply power. This is not working. 
already at this point here there's, there is uh, no white noise and of course when there's no white noise on the input there's no white noise uh, on the output during the tracing of the circuit I look at the layout itself to be, to be honest I have never seen such a rubbish layout in a long time okay, it may be hard to follow but if we take a look at the layout here the power supply coming in here there's a, there's a protection diode up here the little black guy here and then we have plus supply up here and we have ground here the ground trace here and um, you can see that there's a ground uh, fill all the way around but it's not connected to the ground trace and uh, the same on the back if we just flip it over if you look at the back there's a massive ground plane and then there are some ground traces here which are not c connected to the ground plane it's just absolute rubbish this ground plane is doing nothing it has to be connected the whole thing should be just filled by with with ground I've never seen this rubbish layout before and now back to the top side all the resistors have been laid out to look nice not not based on function or to keep the traces short we have some of the transistors down here for instance this one it goes up here goes through here underneath the transistor up here to the to the supply why not just put it up here I've never seen this rubbish layout in my life and this is supposed to run up to 500 megahertz it's no wonder it's not working this is really garbage and I paid more than uh, 10 pounds British pounds for this and it's absolute rubbish it's not worth the PCB that is uh, that is produced on so yeah a disappointing uh, finale to to this review but that's the way it is so thanks for watching and uh, see you again later